From the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Kellyanne Class. Well, summer like air is on the way. We're talking about high temperatures into the upper 90s and triple digits, but we also are going to be expecting a little bit more drying conditions along with that. We can squeeze out a few days of some precipitation about today, tomorrow and Thursday, and we're already seeing some form of moisture early this morning as we get a look outside at our Denver City live sky view. We are waking up to mostly cloudy conditions in Denver City, but not everyone across the South Plains is seeing a lot of cloud cover. And in fact, some areas like Plainview and even level land seeing mostly clear conditions, but we are starting off with mostly dry conditions as well. As of now, satellite and radar is showing dry conditions here in the central South Plains, but off to our east just a little bit. We're noticing a little bit of some light rainfall in portions of Cottle County and just in northern portions of King County. These are very light in nature. We are not expecting a lot of heavy rainfall with this as it continues to move up to the northwest. We could see a few more lingering showers this morning before a little bit more rainfall makes its return by this afternoon. This time, though, up to our northwest and that'll be by later on this evening and then during the evening and overnight hours. A few rumbles of thunder are certainly possible, not expecting any severe weather. It dries out around 2 o'clock in the morning and then tomorrow we have another round of showers and storms on the way. Most of it will be kept into our northern counties though and it could reach the central south plains by tomorrow evening, but we're not expecting a lot of widespread severe weather activity and in fact no severe weather is expected over the next few days. Just some much needed rainfall, but those rain chances will be limited, especially since they will be very isolated. Now today we're just in a general thunderstorm category. Same thing with tomorrow and on Thursday, but we are going to be watching the tropics. Yesterday we talked about a tropical disturbance. Now that has been upgraded to tropical depression three off of the Yucatan Peninsula. Right now sustained winds of 35 miles per hour, gusts as high as 45 miles per hour. What's going to happen is it's going to do a little bit of a loop and then it's going to move north by this weekend into the central Gulf of Mexico, and this will eventually make its way to the coast by next week. And that means that it's going to pull some moisture from us and move it down into portions of Louisiana and southeast Texas. So unfortunately, that means that we're going to be in below average precipitation within the next six to 10 days. Thanks to that potential tropical storm that could make landfall sometime next week. So rain chances over the next few days will be limited and then we'll be focusing on that hot air in place. So we'll be watching that for now, though, a very comfortable start to the morning. Temperatures into the low to mid 60s, a hot one this afternoon. Highs will top out to the upper 80s, lower 90s with a southerly wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. A few isolated rain chances this evening, tomorrow afternoon, Thursday afternoon, and unfortunately Thursday, that's when we start to feel that heat. 97 degrees, even some triple digits on Thursday and Friday, all the way through the beginning of the weekend, and the 90s continue through next week. So unfortunately, it's looking a little bit more like summer. So enjoy the forecast today. I think that cloud cover should in should keep things a little bit more comfortable, even though temperatures will be into the 80s. Thursday and Friday seems like boat day, a day to get in the pool or just stay inside. <laughs> uh, for me, it's going to be stay inside. You can't catch me outside. A little too hot for my liking, but I'll still be drinking plenty of water. Thanks, Kelly.